We'll also watch over the next 118 days, 117 days until the election to see how much Obamacare is part of the Republican strategy. We began the year thinking it was plan one, plan two, and plan three, but we'll see. I say that because there's a new uh, Commonwealth uh, study out Commonwealth Group study that puts out the rate of uninsured. The whole point of Obamacare was to reduce the rate of uninsured. It says that it's succeeding in that regard. 20% uninsured in 2013, down to 15% in 2014. So progress there if you think more people should have health insurance. About 9.5 million people who did not have coverage before now have coverage, this Commonwealth Fund study finds. And it says this, and this will be, I think, the point of political dispute. It says that 74% of newly insured Republicans, meaning Republicans who have new insurance because of the president's health care law, are happy. I guess John Boehner's not one of them. I think what they're <laughs> going to start talking about, honestly, is how much it costs, because we don't right. know how much all of these people coming into the system right. are going to cost yet. These could be some of the sickest people, and that's always been the contention that you wouldn't have enough well people to balance right. that out. And that's the Republican argument that sometime in the fall we get the new premiums, right, just before the election? Th that's about right, yeah. And, and the thing is, what's interesting about this is that everyone was predicting this before the botched rollout of the Obamacare website last year. Everyone, Republicans were worried, and the White House was excited about the idea that the debate was going to change from a right. fundamental dis discussion of government its role in health care into a fight over a benefit. And as it becomes a fight over a benefit, the Republican position gets more difficult. And it's harder to take it away. I mean, it is harder to take it away once something is in place.